So as I promised, I am back with a new color grading tutorial for the latest podcast project which I had recently shot and I used the Sony a7 IV on 4K 10-bit 25 frames per second for this footage. If you want to download this S-Log3 footage and practice yourself, it is currently available on my online web store and there is a big discount for this footage and a bundle of 10 S-Log3 footages which you can get with this discount until the end of the December. So do not miss this fantastic opportunity. Now let's go and start the tutorial. So I imported my footage into the DaVinci Resolve and it was shot in 4K 24 frames per second with Sony a7 IV in 10 bit. I'm going to create a new timeline and I will go to the format and check my timeline frame rate to check if it is the same as my video frame rate and then I go to the color and for the timeline color space I will select the DaVinci white gamut in order to work in the DaVinci white gamut zone then we go to the color tab now here I want to create nine nodes the first one is going to be CST the last one is going to be CST the second one lift gamma gain the third one is going to be color slice the fourth one is going to be table fix the fifth one is going to be background fix the next one is going to be balance and sharpen then vignette so i have set up my node tree and now i will start with the csd i want to use the color space transform in order to transform my video from s log tree to davinci white gamut zone and we work in the davinci white gamut between these nodes and I will select the last CSC again and drop the color space transform. I go to my first CSC and here I will select the input color space as S gamut tree and the input gamma as S log tree. And then for the output color space, I will select the DaVinci white gamut and output gamma as DaVinci intermediate. Now I go to my last CSC node and I go to my effects. Now for the input color space, I will select the DaVinci white gamut and the input gamma as DaVinci intermediate because we are working in the DaVinci white gamut zone so our input for the last CSC is going to be DaVinci white gamut and DaVinci intermediate and for the output color space I'm going to use the Rec 709 because we are exporting this footage for the social media like Instagram, YouTube, TV or anything else which works in the Rec 709 color space and I will select the Rec 709 for the output gamma. So as you see I shot this S-Log3 footage overexposed because I wanted a noise free footage so I'm going to my lift and gamma and gain and go to my HDR wheels. I want to decrease my exposure so I get a balanced footage. I will decrease it around minus one. Here I think it's a good and a balanced exposure and now I want to add saturation to my footage in order to make it punchy because this is a podcast and we want a punchy look so I will start adding saturation. I want so much saturation and then I want to balance my temperature and tint so let's do it as you see our footage is a little bit warm and towards yellow so I want to balance my temperature towards blue and make it cooler so I will start to decrease the temperature to around here 1200 I think it's good and we have a balanced and neutral point here now for the tint I think it's a little bit towards magenta so I'm going to decrease my tint and bring it towards green a little bit not so much just a tad bit and I think we have a balanced footage here and I am pleased with the result with my HDR wheels. Now I want to go to my primaries and start playing with my lift gamma and gain. I will decrease the lift in order to add contrast to my black points. Now our footage is a little bit dark on the midtone so I will play with the gamma and increase the gamma in order to bring up the midtones and make it more bright in the midtone areas and then I want to play with the gain and add a little bit punch to my white points and I am pleased with the results. Now I want to go to my log wheels and for the shadows I want to decrease the shadows in order to add punch as you see to my lower blacks. This is a really cool feature in DaVinci Resolve. I always use it in order to add contrast to my blacks. As you see here if I show you the before and after it makes a huge difference 
adding contrast to the blacks and I really love the results here. So this was it for the lift and gamma again, you can see the before and after. Now I want to go to my color slice node and use the new color slice feature of DaVinci Resolve 19 which is really amazing. I want to add density to this cyan behind the subjects and I want to make it more dense so I'm going to play with the cyan and start density. As you see when I increase this density a slider it adds a beautiful dense to the color and now I can use the saturation slider in order to add saturation to it which is really nice as you see here when I increase it we get a more dense cyans and it also affects a little bit of the hat and I really like the effect it's no problem and I really love the effect this color slice makes on the footage. Now we go to the next node which is table fix. As you see we have a yellowish tone here on the stone which I think it's not really nice. I want a full white stone which is really beautiful and makes the footage really pop. So we go to our qualifier and I want to use my qualifier to select the table. So I drag my qualifier here and now I enable this mask to see which areas I have selected. I have to play with this hue saturation luminance so I start playing with them and I want to decrease this area this range in order to only select the table so we should play with the saturation and hue and luminance in order to only select the table so we play with it in order to get a good result. Do not forget to play with these options you get here for the matte finesse in order to get a clean selection as you see here when you play with it you can get a better selection. I will play with these options in order to uh, make my mask better and I will add blur radius and I go here and use the denoise option which is a really cool option. You get a clearer mask and then I can play again with my hue and saturation and luminance. Now as you see I have a really clean mask and if you want to make it much more accurate you can add a power window here and use this pen tool and here you can select this area and by this way you can get a much cleaner selection now you can easily go to the saturation hue versus sat and select this area now I want to widen this range and here for the reds now I want to decrease this point and as you see we get a really clean white look for the table which you see here it makes a huge difference guys which is really awesome and this removing the yellow thing is just really cool in photography editings image editing and also in videos i really like this trend and i really like this effect which you get now for the background fixed note here as you see my light spill for the background is not really soft and we see line here which i don't like it so i want to fix it i again use my pen tool here and i want to create a mask and here as you see i drag this and want to add softness a lot of softness to it you can check the result here now you can use the options mid-tone detail as you see if i decrease this it makes it really softer and again I want it to be more soft. In order to do this I use my blur and sharpen tool and I want to add so much blur to this area as you see this makes it really soft and dreamy. I really like this effect and again if you do not want it to go to this part you can move it to the upper point but it's okay and I really like the effect and it also adds a blurry effect to the background which I really like. And here was my background fix. Now the next node is the balance node. Here I want to use my primary bars in order to balance my footage and for the lift for the shadows I want to decrease the reds a little bit in order to make this footage. As you see now my shadows are cooler and we see less of the red in the shadows and I want to also add blue to my shadows in order to make it cooler. As you see it is much more pleasing now and I really like the effect I get with this lift balancing which makes the footage cooler. Now for for the midtones which is the gamma I want to decrease the blues in order to make it a little bit warm in the midtone areas and add yellow and it gets a little bit greenish so I want to decrease the green 
now as you see it is more balanced and we have a balanced mid-tone now for the gain i want to add blues to my gain in order to make it cooler in the white areas as you see it makes it much more cooler which i really like it i also want to decrease the reds again in the white areas in order to add cyan to my white areas and this makes the whole footage a lot cooler which i really like this effect because we have a orange shirt here and we have orange lights and i would like the whole footage to be more cool so we have a beautiful tonal contrast here as you see we have a really cool white area around the subjects and the middle of the picture it's warmer so the eye will go towards the subjects here in the middle now i go to my sharpen node and here i go for the sharpening if i zoom on the video I can sharpen the footage as you see I want to enable this mask and the ABN here I want to decrease the scaling I want the sharpening only limited to a certain area so I select this scaling and then I can increase the sharpening and again decrease the scaling I do not want it to be everywhere and if I check it you can see how this affects the video it is really subtle and nice and i'm pleased with the sharpening now for the last note which is vignette i want to create a power window here and i want to give it so much further and this is what makes the subjects really pop i want to invert it and give it so much softness you can check the result here and now i go to my curves and i decrease the curves here this is what brings the eye of the viewers to the middle point and this is just really amazing i really like the vignette effect I give it so much and as you see if I show you the whole before and after it came so much and made this footage really pop I really like the colors and I am pleased with the result I get in this tutorial thank you so much for watching this tutorial guys if you have any questions please feel free to ask them in the comment sections I am really amazed by the love and support which this community gives to me and I truly appreciate it I will be seeing you in my future videos. Goodbye.